Hey guys, it's Kathleen with Thrifty Bridges back with another What's Sold video. This What's Sold video is for the week of June 11th through June 18th. It is not nearly as good as the last What's Sold video. Numbers are definitely down. I don't know how your business is going. Ours has slowed down somewhat. Um, in particular, Poshmark seems to be pretty much at a standstill for us. We had a few sales, but not many, not compared to what we have in the past. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am a part-time reseller and a full-time school counselor, and I have an eBay store with my sister Karen, who's a full-time kindergarten teacher and a part-time reseller, and together we make up Thrifty Bridges. If you like reselling content, you have come to the right channel. Um, definitely consider giving us a thumbs up, and please also consider subscribing. It helps us out tremendously. To get right into what's sold and I am going to start with our eBay sales okay first item is yet another of the Jamie Sadik clothing pieces that I picked up I grabbed these several weeks ago at a yard sale for two dollars a piece I picked six of them up in all and five out of the six have sold the only one left is a sweater so this was a pair of golf capri pants in a size 12 again i paid only two dollars for them and they sold for 25 dollars next is this levenger canvas bag these i really was kind of unsure where to go with the listing a lot of them were listed for 50 60 dollars but they are still selling these and they're selling right around $50. It's not a brand that I'm really familiar with, so I wasn't sure exactly what I had. And so I listed it around the $30 mark. I only paid $2.99 for this in Goodwill and it sold pretty quickly within a week for $20. This pink life proof case is one of three cases that I picked up a couple weeks ago at a yard sale for a dollar a piece. This one is for the six plus 6S um, for that phone and it is in the color pink. I, um, like I said, I only paid a dollar for it and this sold for $15. However, I was just notified that this is coming back to me. It's a return, not because there was anything defective with it, but the um, person who bought it mistakenly bought it for the, bought the wrong size. And so they needed it for a seven. And so I said, that's fine, I'll take it back since there's nothing wrong with it anyway. Um, so look for that again. Hopefully it'll sell again. Okay, next up is this Torrid Tank. It is in a really pretty paisley in this um, vibrant shade of purple. Super cute. Has almost like a trapeze look to it. It's in a size 1X. Um, Torrid is definitely one of our bread and butter brands. It sells really, really well. Has a great sell-through rate for us. It's one of the brands that usually sells pretty quickly for us also. So we picked this up at Goodwill for $2.99 and it sold for $13. This was listed only about two and a half weeks. Okay, this vintage ceramic elf or pixie, whatever you want to call it, he was stamped Japan on the foot. Um, not all vintage pottery and ceramics from Japan sell for high dollar amounts or sell quickly. This guy was listed a little bit, probably about five weeks if I had to guess, because I picked him up at one of the first yard sales that I went to this season and he was in a thrift with me video. But I only paid a dollar for him, so I was really happy to pick him up and I sold him for $9. I sold this vintage Limoges perfume bottle. It's um, made out of porcelain. I actually had two of these grabbed each of them at an estate sale for a dollar and this one sold for five dollars so it really wasn't a big flip and it was hanging around for a little bit of a while so i don't know that i would be picking those up again i really don't know limoges very well i don't even know if i'm saying it correctly um let me know in the comments if you've had any luck selling limoges i see it from time to time at yard sales but i'm just a little bit scared off because i really just don't know what i'm looking for um and i because I don't know what I'm looking for, I don't know how to discern whether something is real or if something is fake. So um, I'm just still kind of in the learning process there. Okay, this next item is an Easter puppy bunny Squishmallow. It is the 12 inch size. It came missing its tags. They had been removed by the previous owner. I sent it through the washing machine thanks to um, Kayla at Homeschooling Picker who let me know that 
you can absolutely put your squishmallows in the washing machine and they come out fine and this one came out beautiful really really cute as you can see in the picture sent this off to her new home for eight dollars now i've had a bit of drama with this item so the buyer of this item sent me a message and said hey i got my squishmallow it's covered in dog hair and it smells to high heaven so i would like a partial refund and um i'm really particular i'm super super anal about my stuff there is no way no way that was covered in dog hair and smelled bad and I told her as much. And I said, I washed it right before I sent it to you. I inspect everything. I'm not saying that mistakes don't get made because they absolutely do, but not the kind of mistake that an item is gonna come covered in dog hair. That That's just not ever going to happen with something that I ship out. And so I said to her, but if you're unhappy, I will absolutely take a refund. And she came back and she was getting a little bit salty with me and she was saying well maybe i need to check my washing machine maybe my washing machine's broken and you know i just tend to ignore that stuff because i feel like when people are doing that they're just trying to engage you in a fight and i've just learned it really doesn't lead to anything pleasant so why bother um i said look and and she also said and i'm going to make sure that i leave you bad feedback i said you have to do whatever you feel like you have to do um I'm just going to reiterate that I will take the item back. Uh -huh. You can send it to me and I will absolutely give you a full refund. And at that she said, no, I want the item. I want to keep it. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, you want to keep it even though it smells nasty and it's rolled in dog hair? That doesn't make any sense to me. So if you had to ask me my opinion, I really feel like she was just wanting a partial refund, was wanting to get a better deal on it and was making it up. Um, I did look at her other feedback because I thought, well, maybe she has a history of doing this, but I didn't see anything that would indicate that. Um, all I know is if something smelled that bad that I had ordered, particularly a stuffed animal, I'd be sending that back for a refund. I referred it to eBay for Business. And for those of you resellers who have not discovered eBay for Business on Facebook, you need to because they answer you really, really quickly. As soon as she made the threat to me, I um, sent them an email or rather a message through Facebook and they responded right away and they said, um, we can see through your communication with the buyer that you did offer her a refund twice and if you know negative feedback happens just let us know and we'll go in and take care of it and because at the time she hadn't left the negative feedback and so she did today and I sent them off a copy of it and sent um, them another message so I'm, I'm just gonna assume that they're gonna take care of it so all right moving on from that Next up is this UMG Aztec tank. We got this at Goodwill for $2.99. It was in a size large, really, really cute. It sold for $14. It used to be that I put UMG kind of on the same plane as Torrid, and I don't think that they are. Torrid does a little bit better for me than UMG. UMG will still sell, but it tends to be a little bit more long tail than Torrid. So I'm kind of trying to hone in on some Torrid pieces. And a lot of times, unless it's a 1X or 2X or something like that, I'm gonna leave the UMG behind. Okay, these Croc Ballet flats were a, a really fast flip and it surprised me because they're a size six and usually the small sizes just hang around a little bit longer. Um, we got these at Goodwill on half price day. So they were originally $5.99. We paid three bucks for them and they sold within a couple of days of having listed them for $18. This Geotrax remote control came in a bin of um, these VTech toys that I bought. It was in my Thrift With Me video from two weeks ago, and it was the one that had all of the airplane stuff, the airport setup, and the train station setup. And this was just extra along with one other Geotrax train. I don't know anything about Geotrax, but I did know enough to realize that this remote did not match the train that I had. So they weren't gonna to work together, so I listed them both separately. So if I think about, I paid $10 for that whole bin of VTech, so maybe I have 50 cents tops in this remote control, and it sold in three days for $5. So I figured that's a win. This Massimo New With Tags t-shirt is cute. It's the boyfriend style t-shirt, Target Special, um, V-neck, and it was new with tags. I grabbed this at a yard sale at the end of the season last year for only a dollar. Um, and this sold within two weeks of having listed it for $9. 
you will remember me getting this um, Tory Burch silk shirt. This is a brown long sleeve silk shirt in a size four. It was at that same yard sale that I've talked about a hundred times where I got all those designer clothes in the teeny tiny sizes because the lady was super, super small. So this was again, a size small. I paid $5 for it and it sold for $25. These Monet Energy Boost packets were mine um, back in January when I was starting my New Year's resolution of not drinking Diet Coke. I got these to kind of give me that kick in the morning and then I very promptly fell off the wagon and started guzzling Diet Coke again and so I'm not using them. So I count the cost of goods for this as zero because I had it and was just getting rid of it. So these sold for $32. They've been listed a hot minute, probably about two months. It might even be a little bit longer than that, but at least they eventually sold and I was able to recoup some of my money because I paid more than $32 for those. This torrid cold shoulder dress was a great find. I picked this up at the yard sale several weeks ago where I also got the two Barney stuffed animals and I picked up the Birkenstocks. I found this on a clothing rack. It was only $2. It was in a size 3X, really, really pretty. It had a pretty white background with navy blue floral design. Um, it got a lot of attention almost right away, almost as soon as I listed it. And it sold for $21.15. I don't, I don't always get some of the offers that I get unless people are just making percentage offers. Uh, maybe that's it, but I thought 2115 was really random, but I took it because this next item is a Chico's tunic. It's three quarter sleeves and it has a quarter zip. It is in a really pretty dark gray and I called it a tunic, but it's not. It's a dress. It was in a size 3XL. I've had this listed for a while. Grabbed it at either an estate sale or a yard sale for four bucks and it sold for $12.99. And so you see Chico's is really just, uh, so I'm kind of steering away from Chico's. I will grab Chico's if it's new with tags, but anything pre-owned, I've passed up on so much Chico's because it just sits for me. And then when it finally does go, it's going so cheap. And like something like this was bulky and it was a thick, material and it was a dress so it was taking up a good bit of room in my bins uh, so i'm just steering away from it unless like i said it's new with tags okay these four xbox 360 games were all sports games um and i got these from my son i've been cleaning out my attic trying to get rid of all of the crap that they have left behind all i only have one child who's still living at home and the other three have left so much stuff in my attic and so i'm just trying to kind of go through it a little bit at a time I typically take their games that they're getting rid of over to Second and Charles because they give you credit for more books, which is something that I don't need, but nonetheless, that's what I do. And these were the rejects. These were the four they didn't want. So I figured, eh, I'll just lot them together and see what I get. Put an opening bid of 10 bucks and somebody bought them for $10, so happy to get rid of them. This Thai Beanie Baby Jeanette from Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Squeak Wool was such a great pickup. Now I got super excited because I picked her up for only 50 cents last weekend at a yard sale. And then I saw that the most recent sold had her going for $49.99. But that must have just been a freaky thing because then there were a lot of other solds that were not nearly that high, but still really, really decent. And so she sold in only a couple of hours. I accepted an offer of $22. And the last thing that sold on eBay between June 11th and the 18th was this Diletta sequined short sleeve shirt. I picked this up at a yard sale about two months ago. It's in a size large. I paid only $2 for it and it was brand new with tags and it sold for $35. Okay, I had only three items sell this week on Poshmark, which really 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 sucks but hopefully it's getting ready to start picking up i don't know but the three items that sold were first this made well eyelet shirt really pretty button down all black eyelet it had these pretty bell sleeves and it was in a size i want to say it was a size medium i didn't write it down on my cheat sheet but i believe it was either a medium or a large um i'll flash it up on the screen when i edit we paid $5.99 for that in Goodwill and it sold for $16. It sold pretty quickly too. It was not listed for more than a week. 
Next was the, was this pair of Athleta Sutton joggers. I grabbed these at the yard sale where I had gotten the Lily Pulitzer dresses and I had gotten the Tory Burch shoes probably about four weeks ago. And these were only a dollar because they had a little tiny stain on them. Really, really faint stain. I tried to get it out using my concoction and it was a no-go. So I just photographed it and noted it. Um, and that was really a bummer because these were selling pre-owned for like 80 bucks. Um, but they also had a teeny tiny, like little, little, little pull in them. So I listed them on the low side for Athletas. I wanna say I put them at like 22 or something. And then I just, I got an offer of $15 and I was like, yeah, just take it because they had a stain and a pull. I should be happy with whatever I get. And I was, so they were a really cute pair of jogging pants. They were in this nice light gray and the stain and the pull were totally not noticeable when you had them on. It was only when you were up close. And I only found them because I was checking them over in the sunshine. Otherwise, I think I would have missed them too. The last item from Poshmark is this Natural Life tank dress. I have had this listed for at least two months, probably closer to three months, in a size small to medium. Really cute boho vibe to it. Loved the print paid two dollars for this at a yard sale and sold it for seventeen dollars okay the last two items are both calico critter items if you remember from my thrift haul two weeks ago i got this big vat of calico critter stuff and i paid fifteen dollars for it and it was huge i lotted it all up i broke everything down into 12 different lots some of them are animals, some of them are furniture, some of them are houses, car, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just thought that was easier or no, I thought I didn't think it was easier. I thought it was more profitable to do it that way. Um, and I think I made the right decision. So I had these three Calico Critter dresses left over after I dressed all of the animals that were in the bin. And it was two mama dresses and one little girl dress. And um, maybe I paid a dollar for those and I'm really, I think being conservative there, it was probably closer to a quarter or 50 cents when you break everything out. And they sold for $16 on Macari. I did offer free shipping for that item. And so um, the buyer paid $3.51. So like, let's say I netted $12.50 out of that. And the last item sold on Facebook Marketplace, it was the Calico Critters Yellow Lab family of dogs. It was six dogs all in all, in, all together, including two little baby puppies. Really, really cute. Again, maybe 50 cents or a dollar into this lot, and it sold for $18. That one did not have free shipping, so the buyer paid shipping on that one, so that was an even better deal. Okay, guys, so for my totals, I sold for that week a total of 23 items, which I paid $48.95 for, which made my average cost of goods $2.13. I sold everything for a total of $381.14. And if you back out fees of 20%, that would be $76.23 as well as subtracting the cost of goods, that leaves me with a profit for the week of $255.96. Again, my sweet spot is right around $400, so this was not a good week. Um, I console myself with the fact that everybody that I follow on YouTube, as well as in the eBay communities, they're all saying the same thing, that things are a little bit slow, so you know, that happens. All right, guys, that is everything for this What Sold video. If you liked this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time that we upload a video. And definitely hit the subscribe button. Have a great week, guys. And remember, it's not cheap. It's thrifty. Hopefully, I will see you on Sunday. Bye, guys.